Hello everyone, it's Matt at Fisher Electronics here. Going to do a different video on this Yamaha, the uh, MusicCast Bar 400. Um, we're going to get it unboxed and uh, set it up to our Sony television over there. Uh, we're going to hook it up via HDMI ARC. Um, so let me get that unboxed. I'll sh show you the connections, show you how to set them up, and we'll go from there. Okay, <clears throat> we've got it out of the box. There's the sound bar. There's the sub. Let's take a look at the back of the sound bar, and I'll show you what I'm referring to via HDMI arc and things like that. Um, on this particular sound bar, there are three ways you can hook this up. And I'll just actually show you right here. Yeah. Let's do that for you. All right, we've got HDMI out, arc, HDMI in, analog, and TV. TV is an optical input. There's our actual inputs. TV is optical, analog's obviously analog, and HDMI arc is going to be what we were hooking it up to. So if, in that regard, you're going to hook it up to this connector here, which matches up with HDMI arc. Sometimes people will go to HDMI in to connect a cable box or a Blu-ray or a game system. We don't do it that way usually. We'll connect all your equipment to the TV directly and then have this one cable going to the TV for your audio. Um, we usually find it simpler operation that way, but there's different ways of doing it. So let me show you on the back of the TV now the connection that we'll be using. Because if you hook one, if you hook it up to ARC on the sound bar, you also have to hook it up to ARC on the television. You can't just pick an HDMI input on your TV. So on this TV, we have ARC and eARC actually, but we're just concerned about ARC. But that is going to be HDMI 3 is where we'll be hooking it up, and this is the cable for that. So I'll just plug it back in here. Okay, we'll do that. I'll get it connected and we'll go from there. Okay, we've got our connections made. We've got our HDMI cable going to HDMI out arc and our power cable. So that's all we're really going to need for that. I'm going to set this down. So now we've got our subwoofer plugged in also and it will generally pair up with the sound bar automatically when we turn it on. So what's next to do is turn the TV on. Again, this is a Sony 950G series. We'll turn our set on. And if you look on the sound bar, it already knows to tell it to turn on. That's what that's good. That's what we want to see. You'll probably there's our sound bar working, but you'll probably see even at times on the on a Sony television, you might say switching to external speakers. That's good. With HDMI arc, keep this in mind. It will send a signal to the soundbar to say turn on. Soundbar will turn on, it'll receive audio. It'll turn the TV speakers off. So you're not hearing both speakers at the same time. It knows to turn the TV speakers off and you're only gonna hear your soundbar. ARC stands for audio return channel. So you're sending audio backwards, basically it's two way communication, but you're sending it back from the TV to the soundbar via that HDMI cable. And that's what's gonna make that happen. So then when we change volume, you see on this particular soundbar, yours might be different if you don't have this Yamaha series, but when you see those uh, white lights blinking, you know that that soundbar is changing volume. All right, let's say you hook your soundbar up that way and it does not come on, it doesn't switch audio over to it, you've got nothing. You still hear audio just out of your TV speakers. That occurs, first thing to do is power on your sound bar. It may, every TV is different. Manufacturers, you know, if they're not matched up or different things, it may not work perfectly initially as it should. So if you're not getting any audio first, find the power button on your sound bar and turn it on. See if that will engage the arc capabilities. If that doesn't, then on your particular TV, I'll show you how to do this on the Sony series on this 950G. You need to make sure your arc circuitry is turned on in the television. Um, I'm going to use this gear on the Sony remote, but we're going to go to settings in the TV. 
And in this particular menu, if your menu looks exactly like this, I know some of the Sonys have this same menu now, different models, but we're going to go to watching TV, and then we're going to go down to external inputs. This is where we want to go to, is to our Bravia Sync settings. Um, this is basically the HDMI CEC circuitry. Um, it is already turned on. Device auto power off means when you turn your TV off, the uh, sound bar or any devices via arc will turn themselves off. Uh, power on the TV, that's going to turn the TV on if you turn your sound bar on. But we're going to come to here, which is Bravia Sync Device List. So when I press that, it tells us, hey, yeah, the, there is something hooked up. Um, it's an audio system um, and a Blu-ray player. The audio is on HDMI 3, the Blu-ray is on uh, HDMI 4. And it doesn't hurt in the Sony here to hit this Enable button um, to enable control. It already has control, but hitting it another time isn't going to hurt. Um, TV is sent Enable to connected HDMI devices. So they know then that uh, they're, they're going to be able to talk back and forth and have control. Um, I'm going to get out of this and go back to our picture. And now we know that, as you can see on that sound bar, those yellow lights are lighting up. So that's where we're getting our volume. And then what will happen is, when I hit power to turn the TV off, this is how it should work. Power. You see those light up. And then the sound bar turns itself off. You're ready to watch TV again. You come back. Okay, let me hit power button to turn my TV on. On comes the TV. Those white lights blink. It knows, hey, you need to turn yourself on. And within 5 to 15, 20 seconds, there the audio kicks in. And now you have audio through your sound bar. So, that is the basics of hooking up your sound bar to your TV uh, via ARC. And again, on your TV, it's going to be different as far as if it's not working, checking your HDMI CEC settings. I don't know specifically how to tell you to do that if you have you know different models of televisions. Um, I would say you're going to need to find, go to your manufacturer's website, find the manual um, with your model number of the television. The way you can find the model of your TV is look at the back of your set and there's going to be a white sticker which is right here and on Sony's but look for your model number <clears throat> go to the manufacturer's website go to their support enter that model number and get the manual in the manual look for HDMI control or HDMI CEC in Sony they call it Bravia Sync that features like that but make sure see how to make sure those circuit that circuitry is turned on um, again it's I don't know how to do it in every brand I can tell you. You just kind of have to sit there and get the manual and then go through your menu and find out. But when that's turned on via HDMI arc, that's generally what should happen. All right. Any comments, questions, leave them below. Subscribe to us if you like, and we'll go from there. You can visit us at fisherelectronics.net. Again, this is Matt, and have a good day.